This is the Emergency Medical Minute, sponsored by Health One. Good morning. I feel- All right. So, um, what do you guys think are some of the most painful things we do to patients here in the ED? NG tubes. Yes, actually, they've done studies and rated that's the number one most painful thing that we do to patients. What are uh, other rhino rocket chest tubes yes chest tubes back in the day when i trained we almost never gave sedation for chest tubes sometimes not even pain medication just like there you go there's your chest tube all right if you ask patients and you guys are a little shielded from this because i think you're not usually in the room but certainly inserting nasal packings is one of the most painful things that we do and to be honest epistaxis is right up there with dizziness for one of the chief complaints that providers tend to not at all be excited about. If you ever ask Sue Chilton if she wants to see an epistaxis, she'd be like, no way. So anything we can do to make that less painful is really good. Uh, This is a study. So there's this site that I use, um, EMA Emergency Medicine Abstracts. And you can see the little cartoon of this team of people uh, that do the abstracts. The best part is this guy's my best friend from medical school over here. So I get to hear his voice when I listen to Emergency Medicine Abstracts. But anyway, they summarize uh, pertinent articles for you. So this one's called Evaluating Effectiveness of Nasal Compression with TXA Compared with nas- Simple Nasal Compression and Miracil Packing, a Randomized Control Trial. So basically, they took patients with nosebleed, had how many of them? 135 patients, and they get randomized to either getting 500 milligrams of TXA diluted in five milliliters of saline. That was one treatment group versus saline alone and both of those patients got compression versus putting in a nasal sponge Um, so again the protocol was squirt up some txa hold the nose for 15 minutes squirt up saline hold the nose for 15 minutes or put in a nasal packing so how do how do you think they did what was what was the best treatment txa of course because it's cheap and easy and it's been around forever why wouldn't it be the best so the success rate of stopping the bleeding with txa was 91 percent uh, with nasal packing, it was, stand by, stand by, it was 93%, so about the same, but um, not statistically different. And then with saline, it was just 71%. Notably, uh, they said that um, 15% of the patients with nasal packing demanded that it be removed before they left the emergency department because it was so painful. And then the rebleeding rates were similar as well. So. Just know that that's another option that we have without sticking in a nasal tampon. Um, We do have atomizers. We don't use them that often, and I think it probably needs to be when pharmacy is here, unless you guys know how to get the atomizers. Maybe you do. Ooh, they're just back in the Pete's Pete's cabinet. cabinet. All right, cool. So there are lots of things we can give via atomization, right? We can give Versed, ketamine, fentanyl, things like that, but you can add TXA to the list. All right, thanks. We are on a quest to provide the world with free medical education. Please help us out by rating us on iTunes, following us on social media, and subscribing to our newsletter at emergencymedicalminute.com.